Got my first pair of Olakai slip-ons in the thrift. I, mean, I noticed there was a shelf and it had Gucci. Mm. Whoa. What? <laughs> I go over there and I'm pricing it. I'm like, these things are $900 and they were like $150, $219. All right, here we go into the thrift. This video spans a couple of days, Friday through Monday. We're gonna hit four stores in this video. We got the revenue counter up on the screen, let's go. First pair that we found was this pair of Keds. Keds have been selling really well for me at $25 plus shipping. I found this pair of Vans right here. I put them on the list, but at the end of this trip, I ended up putting those back. Found this pair of Palladium low top boots. Uh, I guess technically shoes, but Palladium sells really well. A pair of fake Vans. They look pretty interesting, but they were fake. A pair of Echo Mary Jane flats. A quick, easy seller for me. A pair of SAS Made in the US comfort shoes. Kind of a, a comfort walking flat type thing. This pair I'd never seen before. This is a pair of CVs right there, a solid $40 shoe. Hey, you guys are gonna see some brands in here that I have not picked up before in the past and you may not be aware of, so just stick around to the end to see what we get and learn some new brands. A pair of JBU, uh, JBU Mary Jane wedges. A pair of Merrill, solid pair of shoes. I've sold this pair before, $35 plus shipping on those. Also stick around to the end to see what the final tally is. I'll let you know this much, it's over a thousand bucks. Got a pair of uh, Bayo uh, slip-ons or slippers. The slippers were just insane that you could find slippers or slip-on shoes for this price. I did pick up this pair of uh, motorcycle gloves, but I bought them for working around my property. Uh, they wanted 375 for them. I could not find comps on them because they're kind of a random, a random brand, a brandom we'll call it. A uh, pair of Jordans. These Jordans were really, really used and um, I ended up not getting them. The comps on them were uh, right at the 40 to $50 range, but because the soles are just so beat up and they just weren't great, I don't want to pick up stuff that's not great. Going through one of my favorite stores to shop on a Monday, I get 25% off at this store. Uh, right off the bat, got some Asics. Got my first pair of Olakai slip-ons in the thrift. I have purchased a couple of Olakai uh, flip-flops, a couple of kids' pairs from the Goodwill outlet. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to find those. Got a, got a pair of Cole Haan that I just tossed in there. This pair of Converse they wanted $15 for. That doesn't fit my margins, so I did not pick them up. This pair of Nikes, a really great condition pair. Pretty dirty, but we'll get those cleaned up. Basic pair of Vans flats. They're the uh, glittery flats. I've never seen this model before, but they wanted 495, so we picked those up. Or maybe 497, yeah, right in that area. Transferred everything over to my big blue bag because uh, that little green hand cart was not gonna do it. Found that pair of pink Nikes. Uh, there wasn't much left in that big bin, so I moved on down the way. This is a pair of Circus by Sam Edelman, a very basic Sam Edelman uh, pair. They wanted $9 for those Skechers. Not gonna happen, put them right back. Pair of high top Chuck Taylors. They wanted 10 bucks for those, so I picked them up. We're gonna be averaging the price down at this store for sure with that 25% off. Pair of A6 right there, solid. Pair of Pro-Pay, P-R-O-P-E-T, walking shoes, always a good seller. They sell super fast. And this pair I was pretty excited about. They wanted 10 bucks for them. Eileen Fisher, not bad. They had those green uh, insoles, aftermarket insoles. And then this pair of black suede Tom's wedges. I've sold this pair before in tan. That's a good seller. Very excited about these Sam Edelman right here. Totally dope. The Paris, uh, the Paris model, awesome. I sold a brown leather pair of those just recently. A pair of Sperry's right here, clean, basic $20 pair, 25 bucks. We've got this pair of Skechers. Once again, another solid. 20 $25 pair. This pair I've never seen before. It's called Chocolatica's Hot Chocolate Design. They are uh, like a composition book. I think they are teacher's shoes, shoes geared towards teachers. Basic pair of Brooks right there. Toss those in the bag. Stop number two is done. Six and eight is 14, 16, 18, 19 pairs. I paid a total of $98. 
divided by 19 pairs, 515 per pair. Uh, we're under uh, under budget on these, excellent. Happy with this stop, let's move on to the next one. All right, so if you're not aware already, if you have a true value in your area, most, if not all, true values have a USPS office inside. So I like to bring my packages here on Mondays when I'm in this part and drop them off because they scan them right away. And there's never a line. So word to the wise or tip or hack or something. Stop number three, let's go. Haven't been to this store in several weeks. So I had high hopes. We got a couple good things here. Well, let's check them out. First off, this pair of Brooks was just destroyed, so I had to leave those behind. This pair of Asics, solid pair, really cool colorway, the gold, pink, white, and black, dope. Put those right in the cart. I was actually looking really hard to see if there were any blemishes on them. There were not. This pair of Nikes, check this out, completely destroyed. Makes my heart sad, but I'm thankful I found them before I left. Sam Edelman for the win again, an amazing pair. So dope, pick those up, put them in. I am confident those will sell fast. Another pair of Keds. I am all about the Keds. Uh, this pair of Jordans. This is the third pair of this type of Jordans, this colorway that I found. Second one at this store, the same store, uh, but I found three pairs of those total in my career. That pair of Clarks, simple $20 pair. A pair of Sperry's, another $20 pair. I think I'll get more than 20 bucks for them. Uh, but they are a uh, really nice silver pair of Sperry's. All right, stop number two, finished, filled my quota for the day, which was 25 pairs of shoes and came in under budget. So we still got some money left over. I'm gonna hit one more store on the way home to uh, maximize the budget and make sure we get as many pairs as possible. $39 divided by six pairs, paid $6.50 per pair. I got 50 bucks. Let's see what we can do here. All right, stop number three. Jumping in here, one of my favorite stores. No discount on this store, so we're paying $7 per pair for adults and four pair, $4 per pair for kids. Kids Merrill's right here, and this pair of Kids Merrill's, they have the same style number, uh, different colors, but same style code on those. Everything here is just basic bread and butter items. There was nothing here that was out of this world on this particular trip. Uh, however, I'm always happy with a bag full of bread and butter. And then heading over to the checkout line, total of seven pairs for this store. These are the adults and these are the kids over here. Um, I have one actually, uh, it's not filled out yet. Okay, but I'll, all right. There you go. Thank you. Nice. Yes, please. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks. 33. You can hear those silly goose. 42.33 divided by seven. Hey, get my stuff. What's up, I was thinking about you today. A bunch of vans. What are you selling nowadays? I'm still doing House? shoes, but I'm buying retail stuff. Really? Stores. I didn't sell them like Poshmark or? eBay. eBay mostly. Yeah. Poshmark does quite a bit. Yeah. A Doc Martin's purse. It's all clear, yep. but had a nice band on it. I sold like two hours. Two Dang. bucks. I bought it for 40. So. Jeez. Dude, I have not had good luck at Ross. I don't know if I'm shopping the wrong one. I mean, I haven't shopped them in they a while, but. They good shoes and stuff. Yeah, they did. Man. They used to have trash. Jordans and stuff. It's garbage now. It's just trash. I went to. Yeah. Just didn't even. I never go in there. That whole back rack's got discounts everywhere. Yeah. And I noticed there was a shelf and it had Gucci. Mm. Whoa. What? <laughs> I go over there and I'm pricing it. I'm like, these things are $900. And they were like $150, $219. Please tell me you bought some. I dropped. Heck yeah, dude. And then moved them pretty fast. I mean, I got a few pair, but the ones I've listed, gone, 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 gone. But that's rare to, for them to have that stuff, right? I think. Yeah. I think they stopped selling them. Some of the higher end locations were selling them. Yeah. But there's Ferragamo in there. I mean, it's Jeez. And all that stuff's in there. But it's just like one shoe. Right. There's not size runs. It's just, yeah. there's a size two women's. 
Right. Yeah. Super weird. Keep fighting, bro. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. All right, so I've got a dollar fifty left in my budget. We've exhausted it. Locked in. 32 pairs, 33 pairs for the day. Can't wait to get home, get these things clean, get them listed. Thanks for jumping into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some value. Hope you learned a thing, maybe two things. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video.